this is what it looks like to shoot a gas as a normal Minecraft player. Oh god, there's a gas. Shoot it with a bow. Yes. And this is what it looks like to shoot a gas in your typical tapple video. Oh, hey, gas. Pause. This is Minecraft, but you grow bigger every minute. Over the course of the video, my Minecraft character will increase in size. And I'll be so tall that I won't be able to fit into caves. Or honestly, most things. Will I be able to beat the game as the biggest Minecraft player alive? Watch to find out. Also, be sure to check if you're subscribed and like the video, because according to YouTube statistics, you most likely aren't. Enjoy the video, and for all the people who gave me birthday wishes, thank you. Three, two, one. Let's go. Here we go. It's time. It's time. It's time. We have to go and get many different resources like usual, but faster. Okay. There's a level of stress throughout this whole entire challenge because I feel like there's like this subtle time limit and that time limit being if I'm too big, then there's going to be a lot of complications. So we have to go and make sure that we get a lot of resources in a short amount of time, aka speed running. Yeah, we got to get a lot of stuff. We got to get the tools, armor, weapons, stuff like that. We'll just get, you know, all that stuff. We have to go to the nether, do all that things. And obviously we're just going to slowly grow and grow and grow. And it's just going to get to a point where uh, that's going to be an issue. Oh no, it's starting. I am now six, five. Woo. I'm almost like two meters tall. Usually like Steve is like right under this, but uh, eventually I'm going to get to a point where I'm going to be three blocks tall and then four and five and then 10, 15, 1 billion. Okay. Maybe Maybe not 1 billion because I don't think my computer is that uh, good for 1 billion. But still, it'll be really, really good. Let's get some stones real quick. Oh, I just grew right there. <laughs> I'm almost seven feet tall. And I now have to like crouch under the trees. Look, if I try to like run under these two blocks, this is what happens. Mm, I... I can't do it. There's, there's just no way. It'll just get worse from there on. I'm just going to cherish the moments that I'm I'm actually able to be under a tree. Let's find some like iron or like a cave or something. I want to get these like resources very quickly. I want to find a cave as fast as possible. I just want to find as many things as fast as I can, really. Oh, I'm now 7-3. Here, let's go actually make a boat real quick because I want to go and see if there's any like shipwrecks around the area. And if there's shipwrecks, then we can get a lot of resources. And that's going to be really, really good. I think this is a good strategy for us. Oh God, I'm already eight feet. This is a lot faster than I expected. Oh wait, there's a ruined portal here. This is really good. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Wait, fortune three golden pickaxe. That's really good. Fortune three golden hoe. Okay, this is really nice. Oh, there's also a shipwreck right here. Okay, let's go to it and see what it has. What is here? Oh, a lot of carrots. Very nice. And also leather armor. That's pretty cool. I'll just wear this right now. Oh, wow. Okay, we got some emeralds. Very good. Lapis, gold. Very nice. We could make so many nice things right here. Let's make like a flint and steel and like a bucket. Stuff like that. That's really good. Oh, yeah. We could also go and make like uh, an iron pickaxe. That's going to be really nice for later. And we're actually like doing pretty well for the start. I like this. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, gosh. I just realized how fast I'm going now because my legs are big. And since my legs are big, I could I could run and just like completely go up this mountain easy peasy. If I was just a little like two block lad, I'd be like, oh, no, there's a big hill right here. I have to go all the way up. I could just do this. Oh, oh. Ooh, I could literally just absolutely summit this in no time. Let's just do a quick comparison between me and the tree right now. Oh my gosh, that is really insane. Oh, also it's nighttime. I got to go and actually like get a better something. Oh, I'm 9 11. Here, let me do one more craft. There you go. Shield. Now all of the creepers can go away like that. Let's do this bed. All right. Now I'm going to go to sleep right on top of this tree because I literally cannot fit anywhere else. Boom. And it's daytime. All right. Let's get a little bit more food here. And now that we could go and just like safely, definitely safely get our food. Okay. There you go. Oh, wait, there's a village right here. What? How did I not even see this? Wait, that's actually really good. I literally have a fortune three golden hoe and I'm going to use it. I'm just going to go take a lot of this food. I'm just going to completely steal it. I don't need all this food, but oh, well. There you go. Oh, we have so much bread. That's really, really nice. As a massive giant, I, I think I, I deserve like, you know, some armor or something. Oh, I'm, I'm growing even more. Okay. But yeah, I, I should probably go and like find like a cave or a ravine or something so we could get some iron armor. Oh, uh, this works. Here, let me just block clutch. Ooh, ow. That hurt. Wait, I take less fall damage because the whole world relative to me, it's actually not that far deep because I'm a big lad. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah. Uh, there, there's a bit of a feature in this challenge, by the way. Basically, the bigger I grow, the more blocks I break per block I mine. So there's just this whole like radius thing going on here. I could literally just mine this whole entire coal vein. Easy peasy. Just like that. Bah! And also, I get a lot of XP. It's really easy. I like it. I realized that I don't think I could even fit in a cave anymore. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. I can't fit under a tree. Now, I can't just fit under caves in general. This sucks. I have to go and, like, mine to compensate. And also, there's these guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just realized since I'm bigger, it's really easy for them to hit me. Well, let's be careful. Let's Honestly, I should probably get out of here because I'm going to die. Oh, God. Oh, my range. Look how far I can hit them. That's pretty cool. I actually kind of like that. All right. Okay, maybe we could find like a lava lake around or something. That would be pretty cool. Oh, wait, there's diamonds right there. Wait, go down. I want the diamonds. Oh, wow. We actually found like lava right here. And also, we could go and take these diamonds right now. Is it just one diamond? Oh, it was two diamonds. I need one more for a diamond pickaxe. The reason why I really want to get a diamond pickaxe is because I want to go and get, like, obsidian. If I get obsidian, then that's going to be good for nether portals. Obviously, I could go and, like, do, like, the speedrunner thing where I just use the lava lake and just get a bucket and then that's it. But obviously, it's going to be kind of hard for me to, like, you know, enter, like, the portal back after I, like, leave the nether. So I have to be careful. And I'm, I think the smartest thing is to just straight up get the obsidian and just mine it. Here, let's see if we can find some diamonds i truly believe we can <gasps> wait what i really did not expect you to be here hello diamonds yoink i have seven diamonds now all right now that we have our our diamond pickaxe we could make that and then we could also go and make another thing let's also go and make a diamond axe why not boom oh i am 14 feet now yeah it's it's a bit significant at this point you could just tell visually <laughs> But now I'm just, I'm just a bit bigger than normal, yeah? Also, the items, uh, that doesn't look cursed at all. Okay, there's a strategy that I've done from my other attempts, because this is actually not the first attempt that I've done in this challenge. I, I might have died a few times, you know, just, just a bit. Anyways, so the strategy here is that I'm just gonna pour a lot of water everywhere, and it's just gonna make just a whole bunch of obsidian right here. And since I could go mine in a radius, I could do this. I'll place the water, break this cobblestone, and it breaks the obsidian just like that, and then we could take the obsidian. We could essentially just farm the obsidian. Is that more diamonds? Bruh. Oh, let's go mine this. Oh, there's so... Oh, my God. That's amazing. Oh, we have six more diamonds now. Beautiful. I think I have more than enough. I'm, I'm done. Oh, there's so much obsidian right there. Now that we have our obsidian, I'm just gonna go place it like normal. Here's the twist, though. I can't just make a normal 10 obsidian portal or whatever that people usually would do, right? I, I have to just, you know, compensate for my size once again by making a little bit more than just the average nether portal, considering that I'm almost 16 feet tall. Oh, that works. Oh, that actually works so well. Here, let's go enter this before, like, things get a little bit more crazy. All right, cool. Oh! What was that? What just happened? Are we okay? I think we're okay. I think the game spawns like a normal size portal. So I was just consuming obsidian. I was suffocating, man. Man, I should have probably made my uh, my armor first. I just have like leather and there's uh, some scary lads in the way of some things, you know? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can jump over the trees easy. I think the first thing that we should probably do is make our golden helmet. So then, you know, pig boys won't be mad at me. And then we're going to go and make some fern eye. Oh, we got so much iron. This is really nice. I am going to go and make my armor. I do not want to die from pig boys with leather. That's pathetic. All right, let's let's just go and trek around. Let's let's have a little journey, shall we? Mm, I wonder where the fortress is at. We're so quick. Oh, that's Sebastian right there. Hey, Bastion. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to like get pearls from you guys considering that I'm not going to even fit in the Bastion to begin with. I could try and just fail miserably. You know, I, I could do that or I could just walk away. I, yeah, I should probably walk away. Wait, there's a, there's a bit of stuff right there. Let's take that. Let me just get the blocks of gold before I leave though. Bye. Fortress, where are you? Here, let's go over this. Oh, wait. I see it right there. That is a fortress. We need that for blaze rods so we could get eyes of ender. Let's go. There it is. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Oh boy. Hello. That's a lot of fire. Okay. You know what? In second thought, what if I just go and take like the gold from the side of this bastion instead? There's one type of bastion that I like, which is the bridge that would allow you to get gold really easily. But I think we could also like 
pull it off with this one as well because there's just a lot of gold in this. I want to get it. And then I could trade for like maybe fire resistance with the pig boys. All right, let's just stealthfully take it from the back where they won't see me at all. I'm making a whole platform, a whole serious platform for this. So none of the gold falls in. Oh God. Oh, I hear them. At, oh, I hear them seriously mad. So I'm so glad I found this type of bastion. This will work perfectly. We have like 10 gold blocks. That's actually really good. Hold on. Here, how about this? I'm going to go and make a little pile right there. And then I'm going to do this 500 IQ play where I'm going to go and just do this. I have the gold ready. And I'm just going to make a hole for them. Now that I've exposed all of these piglins right here, I'm going to go and place this one gold block right there. And then now I throw this right here. Oh my God, the gold ingots are massive. Take them, trade with me. Hello, everyone. Oh, there's a new group of people that wants to trade. There you go. Have fun with your the, the gold blocks that you literally owned previously. You're welcome. Oh, I could see the pearls right there. Yes. Let's see what's here. Oh, we got the fire resistance. That's really good for the fortress. Let's see what else we have. Oh, 16 pearls. Nice. Oh my gosh, we have a lot. Yeah, we're good on pearls now. That's really good. My original plan was to just like not use this bastion at all, but I think we successfully traded in the bastion. Now we could leave. We got one part of the resources that we need in the nether. Now we have to get the blaze rods. Oh boy. Potion and it didn't even give me anything. Oh my gosh, that's so cursed. Oh no, please, gas. What are you doing? Hey, yo, stop that right now. No fireballs. I'm going up there. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go and enter this fortress. I definitely cannot fit in here at all. So I'm gonna have to mine like the roof again. I, I killed them from all the way there. That's actually so overpowered. What the heck? Let's keep going. Oh my god, look at me. I am insane. Oh, there's a blaze rod. Yes, 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 yes. That's exactly what we need here. I'm going to use my golden pickaxe. Boah! Oh, that's a spotter. That's just straight up, a, <laughs> straight up a spotter right here. Oh my God. Perfect. I'm going to drink my fire res now. I think that's a good time to do it. Give me your blaze rods. My fire res is going away. I need to go. Okay, I got my 10 blaze rods. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. And we're off. <laughs> Success! Yes! I'm gonna go and take my obsidian we've gotten from earlier, and we're just gonna go and make a new portal now. All right, and it's probably gonna be a bigger portal than last time. And there you go. Okay, this is the. <laughs> oh my god! This is the portal we have to use now. There you go. Look how big this is, though. That is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> oh man. And we're here. In the middle of the ocean. Thanks, game. All right. That's that's pretty cool, I suppose. Well, now that we're in the middle of the ocean, I think this is a good opportunity for us to go and uh, make our uh, eyes a vendor, shall we? There you go. And let's just see where this heads us. All right. We're going to go this direction then. Okay, let's go and make a boat. Now that we have a boat, we're going to go. Boat, please. Wait, this is me sitting in a boat as a 26, almost 27 foot person? <laughs> This is pathetic. No, it's so slow. Oh, no, I can't do this. No way. I'm not using a boat. I think it's faster for me to swim. Yes, it is. Oh, it's much more faster for me to swim. Wait, if we get a dolphin, how fast do I actually go? Oh, my God. I go so fast. I go so fast. Oh, my God. Oh! Thank you, dolphin. Thank you. Wait, wait. It goes back now. I'll go this way. It goes this way now. It's getting really close. Here, I wonder what it looks like for me to throw an ender pearl. Throw. Oh my god, that size is insane, dude. <laughs> oh, it goes back. We went past the stronghold. Hold on. I think it's around here. Is it in the desert? I think it's actually in the desert. Is it this chunk right here? Oh my god, it is. All right, we found it. This is the stronghold right here. I'm just gonna mine down. Let's just mine straight down. Oh, we're here. Oh, there's a silverfish. Oh my god. Let's not break the portal room, shall we? Oh, is that the portal room? I see it. It's right there. Break that. Oh, I got the spawner. Let's not forget the fact that I'm still growing. What is this situation, man? I don't like this, dude. <laughs> All right. Now that we're here, I think we could make the rest of our eyes. Let's do that. Boom. Okay. We have 12 eyes. Very nice. Now I'm going to go place them. We did it. Can we enter though? Please tell me I'm not like too big or something. Wait, I'm too big. No. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm just going to break it. Break the portal. Enter anyways. <laughs> this might work. You know what? I'm going to enter it. I'm in. Here we go. We're actually doing this. I can't believe it. Can I slam it? Oh, my range is impeccable. Oh, my God. Yes. This is it. Let's just go slam it. Amazing. Let me just. Oh. <laughs> yes. Go up, go up, go up. Bah. 
I need to still break one more. Bah! Oh, wait, there's one last one right there. I see it. We gotta go to it. Okay. That's it. That's all of them. Now we have to kill the dragon. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can reach! My arm length is insane, dude! Dude, I don't even need to wait for this dragon to perch. I can just go around and just slap it around like a fly swatter. My axe is a fly swatter, and the dragon's a fly! Oh, you're perching? Oh, I'll just, I'll just sit here, right here. Let's just do this real quick. You're almost done! Slam! Almost done! Almost! Yes! Let's go! You're absolutely old, dragon! Right there, baby! My god, that was amazing. Okay, let's just go and get the egg here. Let me just break it real quick. Bah, there you go. I got the dragon egg and we're in. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That was pretty fun. I enjoyed that. Bye.